we we began our trio um sort of midway through last year and um before that like when the when the pandemic first started it was um it was sort of the first time we started working together again because we we were all separated um geographically uh, for three years um we all met in the same school like five years ago and we were jamming uh mostly trombone trios together because that kind of fit our range quite well um but then when the pandemic started we just we all came back to singapore but we still couldn't meet because of all the the restrictions and but we decided that we still needed to to create music and we started off with doing um uh, acapella videos using the app acapella and uh, that was cool for a while, uh, but we then decided that, okay, we have to take it to the next level. So we decided to um, do like more serious production, uh, separating the audio and the video uh, recording process. And basically what we thought of was to, because in Singapore, um, many parents would just send their kids for piano lessons and then if they learned another instrument it might be like the violin or the flute it's either there's two and we were thinking why don't people learn a brass instrument right even if they are like like nine or ten years old they can already hold a trumpet or a horn you know so um that is our long-term goal and we are still definitely um a work in progress but um that is the aim of our trio it's to to make brass music more accessible for everyone. And so I think the, the first series of videos that we did, I think that uh, created uh, quite a bit of interest in, our, in, our, in Singapore. And then we got to do some live shows and I think those were, were really cool as well. We did a Christmas show last year where it was uh, pretty interactive and our own brand of humor as well. So I think that, that was a pretty nice experience.